Hello everyone, welcome to Science Now Science. I am Prasanna Deshmukh and today's topic of discussion is annular solar eclipse. Now, in December 2019, few days from now, there is going to be annular solar eclipse. Now, you might have heard about solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, but this is a very special type of solar eclipse during which sun, moon and earth will be aligned such that moon shadow will fall on earth. Now, this shadow is not going to be a normal shadow where what we see during the uh, solar eclipses. This is going to be a, something called as antumbral shadow. And why is it special? Let's discuss in this video. So to start with, uh, let us discuss about different types of solar eclipses. So one of the eclipses is total solar eclipse during which entire disk of the sun gets covered by a moon as seen from the earth. There is another eclipse during which part of the sun gets covered by moon's disk. That is called as partial solar eclipse. Whereas there is a time when there is a special condition when only some part of the sun is getting blocked by moon and one ring will be visible at the outer edge so which, which means outer edge of the sun is visible from the earth and that is called as annular solar eclipse now let us see what happens here this is the sun moon and earth now sun's rays will come here and they are falling on earth but when moon comes in between moon will cast shadow now, if moon is casting direct shadow on the earth as seen by this shad uh, shaded region, that is called as umbral shadow. And during this, if you are happen to be in this region on earth, then you will observe the total solar eclipse, which means no rays from the sun can reach to you. If you happen to be in this region, which is called as penumbral shadow, during that you will experience partial solar eclipse, which means part of the sun is getting covered by moon whereas if you happen to be in this region wherein as you can see if the sun earth was relatively closer to moon or moon was relatively closer to earth we would have experienced this darker shadow but during the upcoming solar eclipse we are going to experience the antumbral shadow which is the shadow after the uh, meeting point of this outer edges of the moon's shadow so after that you will experience one special kind of shadow. What happens during this is the majority of sun's rays which are getting blocked will not be visible as seen from earth but some rays coming from the edge will be visible in these regions and that's why you will experience a annularity during this solar eclipse. Now, now the to annular solar eclipse to happen uh, there is special condition required. Earth, moon and sun should be in same line moon should be at the lunar node which means moon earth and sun are in the same plane as you know that sun earth plane and moon earth plane is relatively tilted by five degree and if these planes are coinciding each other that is called as lunar node and if moon happens to be in the lunar node at that time you can experience the eclipse now one more requirement is moon should be farther away from earth as far as possible so which means moon should be at its um, apogee. So now if moon is at apogee, which means moon is farthest away. As you know, moon goes in an elliptical orbit around the earth. And if it is farther away at that point of time, you will experience the antumbral shadow, which means the darker shadow is not reaching the earth. Whereas the antumbral shadow, which is a, a shadow after the crossing point here, we experience this. So this is a very special eclipse. And as I told, in totality, entire disk of the sun gets covered. During partiality, the part of sun gets covered. And during the annularity, the ring will be visible. Now, of course, partial eclipse is seen during the total eclipse as well as during the annular eclipse just before the totality period. Now, so hence, we are going to experience the partial solar eclipse also in this time. So what are the different stages we can observe during this eclipse is basically first contact when moon's disk is seen touching sun's disk. When moon is just inside the sun's disk but touching, still touching the outer edge, that is the start of annularity. Then when moon is exactly in the center of sun's disk, is called as the annularity, max of annularity. When it is touching the other side of the sun, it is end of annularity. And when the outer edge of the sun is touching the outer edge of the moon again, that is called as the last contact. Now, these are the different stages and you should observe this during the upcoming eclipse. So typical duration of annular solar eclipse is 
three hours during which you can see all these stages and the annularity can last for few seconds as seen from different regions of the uh, eclipse whereas uh, the maximum duration of this eclipse can last for few minutes up to 12 minutes whereas the upcoming solar eclipse is going to be seen maximum up to three to four minutes. Now the most important part is, is it visible from all over the world? This eclipse is majority visible from Asia and especially from India, Sri Lanka and some uh, nearby countries. So majority of this annularity can be seen from southern part of India and there is a particular zone during from which this eclipse will be passing. Whereas this eclipse is visible from all over the India because it can be seen as a partial solar eclipse. But in order to see the annularity, you have to travel to southern part of India and observe it from that particular zone. So is it a only eclipse you're going to see? No, there are so many eclipses coming up. Uh, so on 26th of December, the next solar eclipse will be visible from India. It will be visible from southern part of India. The next eclipse is going to be visible from on 21st of June 2020 and it will be visible from northern part of India. So if you don't happen to see this eclipse, do attempt for the next one. And there is a total solar eclipse which will be visible from South America and it is on 14th of December 2020. There is no comparison to total solar eclipse but of course annular solar eclipse is also very interesting. Now one thing to remember during solar eclipse is you have to protect your eyes. Don't see the sun for longer duration with naked eye. Of course, it is not that harmful if you just have a glance and leave it. But uh, it is always safe to see eclipses through solar glasses. Uh, so if you have solar eclipse glasses specially made, uh, do observe eclipse through this. Or if you have very dark glasses, you can al always observe through it. It's not that dangerous which people talk about. But uh, if you are observing this eclipse from a telescope or a binocular, please, please, please don't observe it through it directly it will definitely harm your eyes so make sure that the people who are using telescopes are having proper filters used and make sure there is no damage to the filters now in the end i would like to tell you five reasons why you should observe this eclipse first reason is it's a rare event it's not visible every now and then this is an annular solar eclipse and again it is a special one so hence you should be observing this eclipse the second reason is it's visible in December month. Now why December is so important? Because typically in India or in Asia we have monsoon season and the next eclipse is in June which is a monsoon season during which you won't be having clear skies as you know. So make sure that you observe this eclipse uh, in December. Another reason is it's a solar eclipse visible in the daytime so you can conveniently see this eclipse typically astronomical events are in the night and you have to keep awake yourself so but this eclipse is conveniently visible in the daytime so on 26th of december early morning around 8 to 11 this eclipse is going to happen please go out and see it the fourth reason will be it is going to be amazing experience you'll have different types of shadows you'll experience the change in temperature because almost 93 percent of the sun's disk will be covered during the eclipse so uh, it's going to be amazing experience and, and can't tell in words you have to go out and experience it on your own and i have done it before and it's really amazing the next reason the fifth reason is only for people from india sri lanka that this eclipse is visible from india in recent times you might have heard about the solar eclipses but those who were not visible from india they were majority visible from north and south america but this eclipse is going to be visible from india there is another eclipse from india as i told before that it is in june 2020 but during that time we have monsoon season so you should observe this eclipse in december and the sixth reason which is a bonus reason i'm giving you uh, that this eclipse is absolutely safe for observing any eclipse is safe for observing but you might have seen in newspapers in media on tv channels that different people come and tell their xyz reasons that why you should not observe this eclipse if your rashi is this if your zodiac sign is this you should not be observing it's not auspicious you should take during the uh, take bath during the eclipse don't eat during the eclipse all this for pregnant ladies especially they say that you should not see this eclipse these are all false reasons don't believe in these reasons these are absolutely fake reasons and there is no scientific basis for this you should go out and experience this amazing event so yeah that's all from today's episode uh, i am giving a lot of links in the description which will be helpful for you to learn more about this eclipse as well as find out the duration and the view of eclipse from your location uh, i'm giving a link of time and date in the 
description so please go there and yeah if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel please subscribe because i will be live during this eclipse i'm planning to go to uti but my plan may change uh, based on the weather conditions there and i'm going to live stream this eclipse uh, from wherever i'll be observing so make sure you have subscribed and i'll see you in the next video